Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Discontinuity in Physics. So, first we want to understand what a discontinuity is. So a function, f of x, may be multi-valued at certain points. So for example, when x is equal to a, if x is less than a, the function is zero, but then after a, so if x is greater than a, the function might actually be non-zero. So we would write this down as f of x is equal to zero if x is less than a, or say some value capital F if x is larger than a. But we want to understand what happens when the function is equal to a. So, in the case, in the limit, as x approaches a from the left-hand side, that's why I put this little negative, the limit of the function is equal to zero, but then the limit of the function as x approaches a from the positive side it will be equal to f, capital F, this value here. So this is an example of a mathematical dis, mathematically discontinuous function, but it has certain values, it has definite values, but you must take the limit as you approach this value from either side. So in physics, uh, there's many discontinuities that can occur and different types of discontinuities. For example, certain resonances uh, can induce a singularity and these resonances will have a 1 over x type behavior where if we plot this 1 over x here, we see that there is a discontinuity when x is equal to 0 because as x approaches 0, depending on which side you approach 0, you'll either get negative infinity or positive infinity here. So this is one type of discontinuity that can occur in physics. Another type of discontinuity is that which is seen in quantum mechanics in which you have, say, a harmonic potential that is quantized, and whereas classically, if this represents potential energy, you can have a continuous set of potential energies, like skateboarding down a half pipe. In quantum mechanics, these energy levels are quantized. So you cannot smoothly transition between these different energy levels. So in quantum mechanics, you have the energy of a quantum harmonic oscillator, denoted by E sub n, where n is the energy level, and it's given in terms of Planck's constant, the reduced constant, h bar, times omega, it's a frequency, times the energy level, plus one half. So we notice that if n is equal to zero, then we don't have zero energy. We have what's called zero point energy. So E naught will be equal to half a value of h bar omega. And this is something that is striking, strikingly non-classical. But we see that there's a discontinuity, that there are these discrete jumps between energy levels. And this is yet another example of discontinuity in physics. There's much more that can be explored within this realm of theoretical physics, but the point is uh, discontinuities exist in nature, at least at the quantum level, uh, but some other types of singularities indicate that there's a breakdown of the law of physics. That is, there's a breakdown of the equations that are used to model that physical phenomena, which tends to imply that a more appropriate model is required. And this can be seen in general relativity and other uh, subsets of physics. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Discontinuity in Physics.